Hey everyone, how to make pores invisible vanish, this time using foundation. And there's a technique to this and you'll see a actual live demonstration shortly. But just a couple of things to bear in mind as we go along. The first one I want to address is um, that temporary filling in the pores with foundation or powder will clog them. The truth of the matter is, is that you have to think that there's more chance your moisturizer is going to cause problems with breakouts than a foundation or a powder because moisturizers are designed to be absorbed into the skin whereas a foundation or a powder just lays on top of the skin it's not entering the pore the same way that say a moisturizer would so it's not to say that foundations and blushes and all the rest can't cause breakouts because they can but if you're using one at the moment that isn't causing any problems to your skin then you're perfectly fine so don't worry about it the next thing to think about is, especially with this technique that's going to come up and you'll see it, um, if you've got very, very, very dry skin, you're going to need to really exfoliate and moisturize your skin first because it can cause micro exfoliation. But if you do all those things first, you'll be just fine, so don't worry about it too much. Another thing to think about, and this is why I've chosen foundation, because sometimes when you're applying foundation, you apply it to your face, you can suddenly, the pores seem to just go and just get really, really big and you can immediately see them where you didn't see them before. So I think this demonstration is even more important because as you'll see as I go down in a stripe, the pores suddenly bounce out of the screen, you can see them all, and then suddenly they're gone. It's a really clever technique, it's not clever, it's just a really smart technique that can absolutely give you the appearance of an airbrush face. And as opposed to the last one, which was just powder, this with the foundation, you can just see them, they go, they're gone they're invisible. And if you want to do it your whole face, feel free. Otherwise, give yourself a little bit more realism on your skin because it's important that you look real and approachable and not like some airbrush mannequin. As pretty as it looks in pictures in real life, it can be a bit disturbing. But okay, let's get on with the tutorial. So you may need to adjust your volume up or down depending on your set. So I'll see you in a second, bye-bye. So here's a shot of my skin and you can see all the pores along my cheeks and the side of my nose. Now, as I spread foundation on with a foundation brush, you are instantly going to see how they become much more noticeable. And this is a problem with foundation. Now, what you want to do is use a brush that's very similar to the one I'm using. This is by Shure Mora, but any fat kind of eyeshadow brush would also work just well. There they are, pores really noticeable. Now, in order to stop this, you want to use a buffing motion in a back and forth circular motion all over the areas that are bothering you. So in this case, where I'm trying to cover is the sort of around my nose area and my cheeks. And by going in one direction in a circle and then reversing and going back in this direction, you are in effect covering the pores. It's just a very neat little trick, but at the same time, it will can really give you that kind of flawless look to your skin. There is absolutely no doubt that this technique can also cause micro exfoliation on very dry combination skins. So moisturize and exfoliate well prior to this. And here you go, you can actually see that when you compare the pores to how they were before, they're much, much better. Now, just going to add a little bit of powder here. Just press the powder onto the skin, as I showed you in my previous video. And I will show you a before and after now. And I just think that this technique is really cool because it can absolutely help you in looking your best. So here's a before. And here's an after. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.